Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, what if you're on the um, side of, well, my ISB is giving me the speed, my computer, uh, the link is faster. So, for example, if you have, like me, 120 megabits per second, the link speed that I showed you was as fast or faster. And yet, you're thinking, why is it that some, it could be sometimes, sometimes the speed that I get isn't the speed that I'm paying for. Uh, sometimes, or all the time, it's not that, and the links are at the good speed and everything. What could be going wrong? So like I said, the first thing you should check is the speed test uh, through the internet. That is the most reliable way of an actual real reading on speed because it connects to a server directly near you that can achieve the speeds that you're testing. But maybe that also is correct. Maybe you're connecting to that and you're like, well, I'm reaching the speed of my ISP, but yet when I go on certain websites or download files, it doesn't seem as fast. Well, there are quite a few things that can happen. So in the case where the link speed, like I showed you, on to, to check on your connection uh, is higher than the internet speed that you're getting, but yet speed test doesn't reach the speed that it should. Um, one of the first things that could happen, it's not impossible, some internet service providers throttle the internet connection. So what they tell you is that the maximum speed that you have is this number, but at certain times when there's too many people on the internet, your internet service provider could slow it down intentionally so as to have enough bandwidth for every user. And we've seen that. It does happen with uh, many, many ISPs that the speed will be slowed down at certain times of day, for example, um, when there's more people on the internet at home. Uh, these are things that we've seen. And actually, when you read your contract, often it's going to say, this is the maximum available speed that you could get, but they never tell you that it's the actual speed you're getting. They will actually have in your contract a little paragraph that's gonna kind of going to say, well, in all perfect conditions, you, sh you could get this, yet there's a lot of things that mean you can not get this also, even if you're paying for it. So there's one thing. And so it fluctuates through the day. You notice that at certain times you reach it, other times you don't could be your internet service pro uh, provider throttling the speed. The other thing is um, your computer um, being maybe bogged down by something. It's maybe working too hard, and you can check that with the task manager, by right? right-clicking on the taskbar, you go to your task manager, look at the CPU usage, uh, look at the disk usage, D should not be very high in general. Your CPU usage should never stay all the time at 100%, for example. Disk usage, if something's making use of your art disk drive very, very uh, heavily and you're always at close to 100% disk um, usage, well, these are all things that slow down your PC terribly. And what happens is that if that slows down, What's going to happen is that slowdown is also going to affect the speed of the data that you're getting. So what happens is that the data you're getting might actually not, um, because it's you know something that your computer has to do, it's added to also the stress of everything it has to do, it might actually kind of slow down the receive of data. So your data might not be going as fast as it can because your computer's doing too many things at the same time and it's just working too hard. So it's gonna kind of slow down the speed of the data that's coming in because it can't cope with doing that at the same time with other things. So check out your computer's performance, make sure that it is in this standard reasonable fare. You see here, this is an older 7th uh, generation i5. As you notice here, I'm recording. I'm doing a screen recording. Like the CPU is at 15, 20%. Um, you know, my hard drive barely 
barely registering at uh, doing anything, even though it's recording video right now. And uh, so, you know, all of these things are to be checked. If you have an older hard drive, for example, this is an SSD, so it's really fast. If you have an older hard drive, mechanical hard drive, this could actually also be a much higher use because it's slower than an SSD. So check your resource. Check to make sure that your PC isn't working too hard in doing something because that can slow down the Internet speed. And uh, last but not least, remember that downloading from a website does not guarantee you're getting the fastest speed around. And the reason for that is simple. It's that when you download a file from the Internet, you can also be um, slowed down by the website that, or the server where the file comes from. A lot of people will test uh, their internet speed with a download. The problem is downloads are not reliable in checking speeds of your connection because if there's a lot of people on the server downloading files, it might actually slow down the server on the other side, which means you're receiving slower. It's not because you are slow. It's because there's just too much activity on the website you're downloading from. So this will slow down the download speed. And that you don't, there's nothing you can do about it. There are actual websites that are also hosted on slow servers that cannot reach necessarily the speeds that you have. So in the case that you would be uh, using uh, downloading from a website and um, you are not reaching the speed, you could simply be, if you're in a very fast connection like one gigabit, never or rarely reaching one gigabit in a download because the servers you connect to that download the files, never really reach that speed in general. Also, where you're downloading from. If it's downloaded from another country, another continent, sometimes there's ping times and there's slowdown in transfer speeds because of that. And an example that I'll give to you, uh, we're going to use, again, the uh, speedtest.net website. And here we're going to look at finding another server. Let's change the server. And instead of using a server where it, it's close to me, let's find a server, say, in France. So let's see what actually I can get. So here we go. Here is um, a server in France. So now I'm going to connect in this internet speed to another continent. I'm going to connect to Europe, to France and Europe. And this is going to show you that will I be getting 120 megabits per second? We're going to check it out. It might, it might not. But the further away you're connecting to, the slower often it is. So we're reaching good speeds here, but yeah, we're, we're reaching, but you saw that I was at 135. It's not quite 135. And, you know, we could try other servers um, that will not reach 120 also. So in this case, good connection, even though we're getting that signal from or that um, the data from really far away. But depending on where you connect around the world, it can change. Um, for the fun of it, what we could do is um, we could actually do another test here. What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to change again to something like, uh, let's say, South Africa. South Africa. There is something in South Africa. Cape Town. Cape Town. We're going to choose, whoops, uh, South, nope. Let's, let's choose Cape Town. It's going to give me Cape Town. Cape Town. Here we go. Vanilla. Let's check that. So this is Cape Town in South Africa. And uh, let's check the internet speed once again. Now, we're even further away than we are with France. We're also in areas of the world that sometimes have infrastructure that is not as well, not as good. And look at how slow it is to go and reach a maximum speed. It's actually not bad as speed, but you can see it's, it's struggling a little more than on the other servers to reach 
the speed that I want. In fact, it never did reach, you know, barely reached 100 megabits when the other ones were 120. So it gives you an idea of how that connection, depending on where you connect, because honestly, you probably have noticed that you don't really know half of the times where a file that you're downloading is actually coming from on the internet. So these are all things that can actually play in your internet speed. So getting faster internet is cool, but getting faster internet has its limits sometimes due to your hardware or simply to the internet infrastructure you're using. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.